Oh, hey! It's probably another fucking star, you. Yup! I wonder if I'm gonna kill it in one hit with Surf. No! Wow! I'll check your Pokemon to see if they're fit for outdoors! I have a Charizard. And of course he has a Chin Chow. Probably still has Water Absorb too. Knowing my luck. Sea Trap, now you, now you see why I have Surf. That way I can still fight in the fucking rain. Oh, Blaster Purge. Because why the fuck not? Yes I did. But, um, Clay-Doh. Because this is still Route 120. Thanks, Drake. Why did you have to say that, Zidane? Now Drake is dead. Fucking A. God damn it. Okay. Super effective move in beneficial weather. Great. So we just lost Drake on Route 120 to Chinchow. Hydro Cannon. At level 41, I believe he was. <sighs> yep. God damn it. <sighs> well, let's send out Dory now. Yup. Stab brain is super effective. Yup, that's fucking power 450 right there. Fucker didn't even stand a goddamn chance. I don't even have words. With Pokemon that strong, you're in no danger to need to rescue. Fuck you! Well, it's a good thing I don't really need cut from here. Except for bonus shit. So, am I not carrying my... No, I must have deposited it again. Well, 
let's at least get through here. Oh! No, never mind. Shit. I've already used the Lazarus rule on him. Isn't that just some fucking irony for you? I can use the Lazarus rule on someone else now. Which I don't think I've updated my uh, list to allow to uh, state that. Yeah, this is still Route 120, dude. Well, yeah, new Pokemon in that I can pull from the reserves, so... Yeah, Drake died twice. Both times on Route 120. I didn't want to do that. But I'm so used to abusing move Pokemon. Because the first option on move is summary. I really don't want to use that. Can't even make use of that move list. has anything good. Sheer Cold, Luster Purge, Haze, Spit Up. Nope. Not useful at all. Really not. Oh! Tumblr has a Max Ether. <laughs> Oh, that's mean. I think Shell Shock might be a good fucking choice. And for the sake of just keeping everything in the order that I caught them in. Yeah, Jump Puff was from the Weather Institute. Uh, I kind of want to have Cut on the team. Can someone learn Cut? It's not exactly useful. Oh, Horny can learn it. It's a shame that it's the exact same power as fucking Weather Ball. Weather Ball can actually be made useful. Uh, Hayden can learn it. Oh wow, Cut is literally Tackle. Though I think Tackle got an accuracy boost all the way up to 100. So... Really don't want cut on that. Um, might be downgrading horn attack. Slack off's actually useful. I don't want three HMs on one Pokemon. I guess I'm not using cut, which means I can't get berries, and nothing of value would be lost. <sighs> wow. 
Wow, the rain effect is making my frame rate chug. I don't know if you guys can see it on the stream. Uh... Okay, I just heard... Armaldo's cry. For whatever reason. Except for two secret bases. Other than two secret bases, nope, that's it. No, that's Clay Doll. What the hell am I thinking? What about it? Not after that. Tamer Mike. Really? Mistrevis has fucking drizzle. So it's raining where it normally wouldn't be raining on this route. That's raining anyway. Great. In before Frenzy Plant. Why'd I do that? That was stupid. Wow. That Mega Punch was fucking useful. Surf's gonna do more damage. Because Surf's still gonna hit with a power of like 130. Well, Stab, Rain, brings it up to a little over 200. Resistance drops it down to about 105. So, yeah. Yeah. And I realize I'm gonna have the same problem with Shell Shock that I had with fucking. Uh. Omelette. Just on the opposite side of the spectrum. 22 special defense. Honestly, since uh, I'm pretty sure that <coughs> fucking Cloyster doesn't learn any new moves, I'm stuck with Pound. Unless Shell Shot can learn Fly. <laughs> Another fucking Lucky Egg! <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Which means I can get into all the double battles I want and still get full experience. That's awesome. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. I will adopt the movements of Pokemon and create new ninja techniques. That's just wow. Oh hey, it's Baconator. I think that's right around at the level Baconator died. Nope, 23. <laughs> Eat cactus. <laughs> oh, God. There's no web berries here. Pineapple, Nanab, 
cherry. No, Raz. Whoops. Where's their leopard berries? Those aren't leopard berries, those are peach berries. No, the bush is a different shape. And it's a war total. Yeah. Leopard berries are pink and red. Pink flower, red berry. On the, the graphic for the bush, that is. 23 special defense. Yup. Corn berry! Which doesn't make sense because corn isn't a berry. Some of the- most of the berries in the Pokemon universe are actually mirrored after real berries in real life. Damn it! Oh look! It's Waylord! Fat Slob. Also, very, very fucking floaty. Wait, for its size? Yeah. It doesn't make sense that Whale Lord's a fucking uh, water type. Or a whale, I should say, because, you know, it's 40 feet long, but it only weighs like 700 pounds. Yeah. Who oh, might you be? Are you perhaps searching for an ancient ruins rumored to possibly exist according to legend? <laughs> Speaking of Homestar Runner, they actually released a new fucking... Well, I can't say a short because it was like 15 minutes long for Halloween. Where... Homestar thinks he kills Bubs. Not Bubs, but Pom Pom. Because they had a an inflatable fucking pumpkin. And Pom Pom went to walk away, but accidentally unplugged it, which made it deflate. Since Homestar wasn't paying attention, all he saw was the pumpkin that happened to have the same colors as Pom Pom just laying on the ground. Like, oh no! I killed Pom Pom! and just runs around trying to come up with some kind of stupid alibi and just... I don't know. You have to watch it. Okay, I didn't see that. I only know about the Halloween thing because of, um... My buddy Andy. Uh, actually, well, since he's somewhat of a Let's Player too, I might as well give him a plug since I brought him up. Lurid Sorcerer on YouTube. You might want to check him out. He does some things with another buddy of ours. So, yeah. Right once. Wow, thanks. I have no reason not to get into a double battle. There are powers beyond our understanding in the world. Can't you see that I have all this stuff with me? Despite that, you still insist we battle. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? I have stuff! I don't want to fight, but let's fight! Fucking moron. What? Hey, she's supposed to have a dust call here. <laughs> uh, well, I haven't seen them do anything lately. But, you know, he does have a channel. Yeah, 
yeah, speaking of does things, you were supposed to, weren't you supposed to do a fucking Halloween thing here last night? But decided not to because I had to work. <laughs> Which is a weird reason, if you ask me. And I've got to finish off this dust call. I was actually going to find a way to do a fucking channel host from my phone because I forgot to do it before I left for work. It's a good thing I didn't fucking waste two of my breaks trying to figure it out. <laughs> oh, fucking torment. Eh, might as well use Sand Doom. Corfish probably isn't going to survive. Lost. Of course it was! I'm holding stuff in both hands! Fuck off. Still... Uh, chest of berries. Lost. Kinda useful. Too bad ass bears not. Person bears are nice. I don't think ass bear berries do anything. Oh, wait, they do. Defrost. Okay. <laughs> oh, Steelix is my Route 121. At level 27, huh? Shit, how am I gonna weaken this thing? I have to weaken it. Vice grip, huh? Oh! Yikes! Agility, vice grip. Hmm. Thug licks. <laughs> At least I didn't have to ask for the nickname this time, so... Thuglix it is. Steelers live even further underground than Onyx. This Pokemon is known to dig towards the Earth's core, reaching a depth of a, over six-tenths of a mile underground. Wow. Six-tenths of a mile? Why not go least common denominator and call it five, three-fifths? It was placed in box one. Whether you want it or not. Stop! Have a good look at my precious book! You're fucking weird. Developer and Great! You've got a dust club. Who gives a shit? I'm about to run out of surf. Great. Oh, Fury Cutter, wonderful. And it knows how to use it. It's kind of sad that a fucking power 80 move just hit me for 8 damage. Oh, how dare you? I. Don't take it so seriously. Mm. 
I took it easy on you this time, but it won't be that way next time. Right. Okay, we'll move out to Mount Pyre. Kinda wish I had cut. Kinda wish I had cut because there's TM over there. A miracle seed. Yay. Yep. Where's Rock Smash all used later in the game? Because I have an idea. McCargo, huh? Because I know the move deleter's over here in Lilico. I think I need Rock Smash for the uh, underground cave. Or wherever, where I've got to chase fucking Team Aqua. My Pokemon have never tasted defeat! On their next win, I'm entering them in a contest. So you're going to reward their fighting prowess by saying, we're, we're so awesome at battling, we are awesome in beauty pageants. Okay. Because that still doesn't make any fucking sense. Acid armor, huh? Hey, Crobat, I don't have any other choice but to target you. <laughs> no contest for you, I guess. I have this routine. Defeat five trainers a day. Guess what? You're number five. Well, I guess you gotta start over. Devil Caddy, huh? Kill with a shitty move. 